What a cold, gloomy day it is out. And it's a perfect day to go drugstore shopping. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I am on um, a major highway near my home. And I'm gonna see if I can just pull over to whatever I see, like a CVS, a Walgreens, a Rite Aid, and just see if I can pick up some new um, drugstore products. So that's what we're gonna be doing. see first. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, I really want to do a full face of drugstore products. I did end up only going to Ulta because, you know, after $150 later, I really didn't need to go to any other drugstore. But anyway, that is what we're going to be doing today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It would give notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between 1 and 2-ish. So, yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now, without further ado, let's get started. All right, cool. First things first. Let's get the hairdo out of the way. Yes, just freshly washed, blah, blah, blah. There's flyaways. Although I have to use like that, um, you know, that that mascara thing that I bought. I keep on forgetting. It just tames the flyaways and stuff. But anywho, I forgot. Okay, here's why I'm so super excited. I cannot remember the last time I picked up a drugstore foundation. I'm so super excited. I have no idea what this is all about. This is the Revlon Skincare Foundation, 5% um, squalene and hyaluronic acid. Have no idea if it's new or not. Have no idea um, if this is the right shade. No clue. This is shade um, 213 Light Natural. No clue. This, even this light, looks kind of darkish, right? Who the heck knows? So I am so excited to pick that up. All right, granted, this is not like a drugstore product, but this is the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush. Girl, it's only $4.99 though. It's only $4.99. I did use this. I did use another color in a previous video. Um, this is called Hush Hush. It's more of a peachy color. So I figured we could throw that in there. Um, let's see. You know how much I've been loving this love this is the maybelline um instant age rewind eraser but this is in the in the pink color the uh, 160 so we're totally going to be doing that and then also i got this mascara this is the essence lash like a boss very excited to try this i love the the essence the green one false lash effect the the one in the the black and green one of my absolute favorite drugstore products girl what the heck is this is that look so freaking cute? I don't know if it's, what does it say? This is the essence kissed by the light illuminating powder. I don't know if it's um, highlighty-ish, not really sure. We're gonna definitely try that. I also picked up this combination of a lip pencil and a lip gloss from Revolution, but I seem to have lost the liner that goes with this one. I can't find it anywhere. Bummer, I'll have to go back and pick it up. This is how it was displayed. So I did pick up the IRL Filter Finish Lip Definer in Caramel Syrup, and the, the gloss goes with it. And then I'm gonna have to go back, oh well. I'm gonna have to go back, and this one is, it, they are whipped lip creams, and this one is in Chai Nude. It could be a little light anyway, but we'll see. We'll try the lip smacking, and if it's too light, then we could always use it with the darker liner. But that's totally 
I'm so I'm so totally bummed. So I just grabbed some new eyeliner, some NYX. I'm, I figured we could put like a little bit of uh, the the gold underneath the waterline and try these because you know, girl, I have. I'm trying to pull myself away from that makeup forever because I love it so much. But anyway, I'm so excited. I have lotion on. I have my face moisturizer on. Blah blah yada yada and the what what. And um, yeah, let's go. So let me read up on this. This is the Revlon Illuminance. Make me a little nervous. P.S. It is beautiful out today. It's about 70 degrees. I'm sweating um, to death. I do have my windows up. The birds are chirping. It sounds so nice, but there's going to be other things going back and forth, delivery and all that good stuff. But I want to keep the window open, so I hope you don't mind. So this is the Revlon Illuminance Makeup and Skincare in One. Sometimes I'm really not sure with that mixture of a concoction. I already have enough, like skincare on i don't know but anyway um medium coverage natural finish reduces the appearance of wrinkles over time um deeply hydrating deeply hydrates the skin perfect let's try it i'm so excited please i hope it's the right color so i'm gonna just pump this i i, I don't like to do this but i didn't bring my palette did i no so i'm gonna just do a little pumperoni here so this was one pump there's the pumps are kind of little like short and that's two pumps. It's a little bit runny. So we shall see. P.S. The runnier the um mm -hmm. the runnier the product, the thinner it is. It's more this looks a little bit peachy, but that could be a good thing, right? Could be a good thing. Let me just go on one side because you know I've been liking like a lighter, thinner consistency. So I'm gonna just go in on this side with my sponge. That to me looks like a nice light sheer coverage. Let me go on the other side with my favorite foundation brush. Um, this is the BK Beauty 106 and I'm gonna just stipple. Just out of curiosity, it is very luminous. You could see right over here. It says illuminating. Okay, so just what I have on, of course with the brush you're going to have more coverage, but I mean barely, barely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in, and I think what I'm going to do is, I'm, I took the whole thing by the way, I'm going to just stipple with the brush, because I think I want a little bit more coverage with this. And what time is it? It's 3.40. Let's try, let's try to do a wear test. Mm, I like it. I'm going to go in a little bit harder. I'm gonna go in just with one more pump. So that's about three pumps that I did, right? So, um, cause I want to just a little bit more there. Actually, I really didn't need three pumps. I just needed enough to go down my neck. So I'm gonna just take it down my neck cause it is a little peachy. This is really, really pretty. It is very illuminating, but it's pretty though. I wanna look it up. Hold on. Okie dokies. I will tell you, this is kind of pricey. It was $18 at, um, at Ulta, but I just saw it was like thirteen fifty or something on Amazon. Anyway, this is a, the Illuminance Skin Care Foundation. I'm just curious of like, um, we read that your skin skin looks naturally radiant, and you'll see smoother skin over time. Okay, boosts the skin radiance, increases skin elasticity in four weeks. See, here's my thing about that when they claim that girl who to wear who wear uh, I could be wrong. Okay, I'm gonna pull back on my on my words. Who wears the same foundation like for four weeks? I mean, I guess like people who don't want to have like a YouTube channel and, and likes to test out products. I mean, I guess people, yeah, normal, normal people probably have like one or two foundations and use it. But anyway, reduces the, I, I got that made without paraben, uh, phthalates and synthetic fragrances. Thank you, Jesus. Um, yeah, it doesn't say medium coverage available in 28 buildable shades. Like it doesn't say like, um, it's long wearing and all that stuff. Okay. That's what I was looking for. It is very, very pretty though. I like it. Really, really nice. Okay, cool. So we did that. Now, um, I also picked up the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken Caffeine and Vitamin C 5-in-1 Concealer. I'm wondering if this does the same as the Milani. It's beautiful. The Milani Liquid Contour. It's so gorgeous. So I used that in a few videos ago, but I'm just curious if this would do the same thing. So let's just try this. So let's just try this one. Let's see here. So I'm going to just, same doohickey here. I'm a little, P.S. I didn't use the whole thing there. You see that? So I would say like maybe two and a half. Two and a half would be ideal. I'm scared. Does anybody else get nervous? Let's do this together. Ah, my hands are shaking. Hmm. 
So here it is right here. Let's just try it. Let's just try. It is pretty. It's pretty. I um, Let me just be quiet for one second. Hold on. Okay, it is very, very pretty. It doesn't blend in as well as the Milani. Like I have to work and over here, it was like a little blotchy, but um, it is a concealer, so. Okay, that's not bad that looks really really nice okay the more this foundation is sitting on my skin the more i like it it's very very beautiful Ooh, so so nice let's go in let's just do it this is so good i have been using this alone i mean i know they said that you could use it as a brightener it is a corrector god it's so freaking pretty and you could use it like on it is so creamy again i haven't done it yet but i have to go check out my other colors i do not remember it being this creamy it is so beautiful but anyway um anybody else have a squirrel mind squirrel all over the place what i was going to say is that i know a lot of people use it underneath their concealer but this is more than enough for me right this is plenty i'm going to just brighten up a little bit i normally don't do that especially here on my forehead because right between my eyes is really dry so i'm going to go right above Okay, that is so pretty. Okay, I'm really, really loving the complexion. Really, really loving. You know what? I want to stop right there because I just want to throw on, um, this is not new. Have you guys used these cute little Milani Duo eyeshadows? They are so beautiful. This one in particular is called BFF. This color, girl, this little shimmer here is beautiful. Let me just swatch these two for you. Look how beautiful they are. Aren't they so nice? I'm going to put them right over here. Yeah, girl, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I figure we'll do that real quick. And then I want to just, I just want to darken the edge. I'm going to take this LA Girl 4 Play eyeshadow palette. This one is in Seduce Girl. You know how I feel about um, drugstore eyeshadow palettes. I have such a hard time finding a good one. This is fantastic. This is so, so good. So let's just, let me just do some tape. Rooney, we're going to go super quick. Okay, isn't this beautiful? That is so nice. Ooh, let's just peel this tape baruni off. Look at that. That looks so good. Mmm. Oh, that looks so beautiful. I love a cool brown. This is gorgeous. I love this palette. And this little duo, it's a must. It's a must. I think I have like three of them, but that's probably my favorite. I'm going to just go in with this brush that I was using before. It has got nothing on it. I just want to soften this up over here. Okay, and I had the nerve, of course, to get this fantastic setting powder. This is the F, the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder in light pink. This is this is what made me fall in love. This was, girl. But this, I got this months ago. I know I must have made a mistake because I don't think I would ever get like pink. Like I don't why, why are you getting pink, girl? Amazing. I love it. It's so great. So I'm gonna just 
just under my eyes because I have to set my under eyes. I have to set, and I am going to set up here because this is very glowy, very, very glowy. I like it, but you know, very glowy. Okay, let's just finish off under the eyes real quick. Mm, that is so pretty. And then we're going to just soften it up. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take this brush right over here. I'm going to go in with this color right over here. And just smoke that little lover out. Ooh, doesn't that look so nice? You know what? I, of course, I want to try this, but I'm going to use um, the Revlon Skin Lights in the inner corner, girl. Who does not love that? Who does not love that highlighter? They are so amazing. So, so amazing. It's so beautiful. Yep. Look how pretty that is. Ooh. Isn't that beautiful? The eyes came out beautiful. Okay, so you know what? Let's let's go in with this She Glam. I know I love the other one. Pleasantly surprised because I really wasn't going to get them. I'm so friggin' impressed at how big this is. So nice. And the other one was gorgeous. So this is what this one looks like. Ooh, this looks really, really pretty. I think it's going to match the eyes perfectly. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Going to go in with my sponge. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so freaking pretty. Ooh, love these products. They are so nice. And then let's go in with this. I'm not really sure what it is. This is the Essence Kissed by the Light uh, 01 Star Kissed. It's a multi-use illuminating powder. No freaking clue. Let's start off with, let me see. I'm going to take this refer brush. This is the 04. And I'm going to swirl it. I'm going to swirl all of it. I'm going to swirl all of it. Swirl it. That's what it looks like. Let me just pat it on my hand. I mean, this is what it looks like right over here. I don't know. I'm swirling. I'm going to swirl and I'm going to just check it out. See what it does. Oh, yeah. It gives you a, a beautiful little shimmer right over here. I wish I knew that. I, was, I wouldn't bring it in this close. It gives you like a little bit of a bronzy effect. But a nice little highlight though. I like it. I'm going to have to play with it a little bit more. Just going to go in with this real quick strategically. Over here where I normally put it look at that that is so beautiful so beautiful mmm that is gorgeous now I'm going to try this NYX epic wear liner stick it looks a this is brown shimmer but I love shimmer under my eyes okay like I wouldn't say it's shimmery at all I'm gonna just use it to tight line let's do that but damn, it's nice. That is really nice. That is so pretty. Okay, real quick, I'm going to go in with the eyebrows. I am using the Maybelline uh, Tattoo Studio 36-hour uh, brow in medium brown. We're going to just speed that up real quick. That's beautiful. I just wish it were a little darker. I'm not really like, like a, the medium browns are a little bit too warm for me. I like them a little bit cooler. And then let me just um, curl the lashes. I'm so freaking curious about this. Leave me some comments below. What are your favorite drugstore products? Doesn't matter what it is, mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick. I am so curious. I'm always on the hunt. I'm always on the hunt for good um drugstore products anyway this is lash like a boss from essence so curious okay the oh the wand is interesting it's it's got looks like a traditional wand with that little curvature to it let's see Ooh. okay it feels it feels like nothing is going on my lashes 
but they're getting longer and longer. This gives really nice volume. Wow, I like it. Okay, that's beautiful. I don't like to dip back in. I'm, I'm usually like a one dipper kind of girl for mascara, but that is beautiful. Wow, and I really don't like to dip in underneath because I don't like to put too much on. That's plenty. Let me tell you, I have said this once, twice, three times, a lady. Drugstore mascara, to me personally, by far, is the best. I don't think you need to spend money on high-end mascara. Okay, that is really, really good. Very good. I will absolutely let you know how this mascara fares out. And now let's get to the lips, shall we? Yeah, let's get to the lips. I'm like so bummed I can't find the lip liner to this other one. I'm going to have to rummage around. Darn it. Let's try this one. So this is the IRL Lip Definer in Caramel Syrup. And I got the lip cream to go with it. Okay, it took me forever to open it. By the way, I just put um, the e.l.f. powder all over my face as I'm looking in the mirror. It is. This is very very illuminating very which i love but a little bit too much so anyway let's do the liner very creamy very pink okay so that is the liner very very pink very pink now i'm almost happy i didn't get that because that looks really nice so this is the makeup revolution irl whipped lip cream looks really pretty that's what it looks like right over here. It smells like nothing. Ooh. That is so pretty. Reminds me of all those moussey products, the one that um, Jaclyn Cosmetics has, somebody else has it. You know, I'm gonna have to put a gloss on that. That is pretty though. I'm gonna just use my fingers to soften it up. That's beautiful. That's a pretty color. Hold on, you know, I'm going to have to go get a gloss. Give me one second. I'm actually going to grab uh, my City Lips from City Beauty. This is in clear. Love this plumping lip gloss. By the way, they did give me a discount code for you guys. It's Rosanna15. It is linked below. And there is an affiliate link as well. If you want to help out my channel, you know, you could use it. You don't have to. No problem. But you do have a discount code down there. If you guys have never used City Beauty City Lips, mm-mm. They are fantastic, especially this clear one. I have like 5,000 of them. They're so good. They come in glosses. They come like uh, with more opacity and then they come with um, in a matte um, formula. They're so beautiful. Anyway, let me just throw this clear on. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Look at that. Ooh, that's beautiful. That is so nice. So let me just put my hairdo down. Let me just put the hairdo down nice okay so i think this is it what do you guys think this is my full face of drugstore products hello i think it came out fantabulous i am so happy oh i love it i'm so happy the way everything came out i will definitely let you know how this fares out so super curious about this it is a little bit luminous which i'm shocked i'm going to say that but it's a little bit luminous this is beautiful listen I'm going to tell you twice and I'm going to tell you five, six, seven, twelve times. Drugstore mascara is the way to go. They are so great. Yeah, you do not need to spend money on mascara for high end. Mm, that is so freaking pretty. Um, yeah, love this. You know that I, I already spoke about this a gajillion times. The lips are really, really pretty. What else did I try that was new? Nothing else new. Oh, this. I'm not really sure about this. I'm going to have to play with it. I... I really don't like to put any kind of like um, highlighter like right over here. Like I have like loose skin right there. I don't like to emphasize that. So I didn't know what it was. So I just went all over my mistake. But the face looks good. Everything came out so great. So anyway, so that is it, guys. This is my video. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys, be good to each other. Love each other and have a great, great day. Bye. Just wanted to show you this full face of drugstore video that I just did. I'm out in the sun, going for a walk. Really, really pretty. Look how nice that looks. I'm testing out a new foundation. It's a little bit dewy, but I'm curious. It's the Revlon Illuminating Skincare Foundation. It's really pretty though.
Thank mm-hmm. you.